Hey, Titans. Master Lost Sector footage here at the beginning of the video for you. Have you ever wanted to make it to where nothing can see the fist that's about to crush its skull? Where nothing will be able to see you coming, flying in with a thunder crash to absolutely decimate whatever champion is bothering you or your fire team? Well, I've been trying to make that build work for a very long time. And sure, I could run a different exotic, but sometimes it's about the drip, and it's about to not have to do a loadout swap in the middle of a raid when you're about to do damage. It's about just being as effective as you can without worrying about what's on the artifact. Just having a build that absolutely smashes ass in ways that you didn't imagine possible on Destiny. And if that's what you're looking for, Arc Titans, I might have a build for you. But first, let's dive into the drip, baby. All right, now that I got reveling in my absolutely immaculate drip out of the way, because if we're going to make the builds, we might as well trip them out. You got to look good to be good. We can dive into the essence of the build. The first thing I have to mention is that when I had tried this build in the past, I tried it with arc slug shotguns. I tried it with a couple of different arc snipers. They never felt good. They were never reactive enough, snappy enough. And to get some synergies on this build, you need an arc special weapon that can be fast, be easy to use, and can hit crits. That's where the new sidearm from Warlord's Ruin comes in. Could have grabbed a better screenshot, but oh well. Indebted kindness with Volt Shot and kind of whatever else you want on it. I believe it gets led from Golden Volt Shot, so that would be a really, really, really good roll. It's going to make a build like this absolutely shine and blind, baby. And that's what we're all about here today. We're about shine, blind, jolt, blind, jolt, blind. Okay, here's why. The Ionic Traces aren't important at all, but Jolt and Blind are important because Jolt is Overload and Blind is Unstoppable, which means with this setup, with our sidearm, it is currently Anti-Barrier because of a Seasonal mod, and it is Overload because of Volt Shot. On top of that, our grenades, our blinding grenades, are also Unstoppable and Overload because of our Fragment setup, and we're going to dive into that right now because this is really interesting, and now that we can make these synergies work with Indebted Kindness, we can go absolutely crazy and just blind everything. For our aspects, we're going to be running Touch of Thunder, so our blinded grenade gets that extra bounce, giving it a little bit more utility and forgiveness, and we're going to be running Knockout to get amplified and get free Healy Wheelies when we punch things because we're Titans and we just want to punch. I know that's not wrong, I'm a Titan, and I'm going to be running this build in the new Horde mode, absolutely, while I'm farming my Recluse or my Void Titan builds, we'll be touching on that in future videos. But I promise you, you're going to see me using this because it is hilarious, it is fun, and it is effective, okay? Keep following me, stick with me. For our fragments, we're running Brilliance for defeating targets that are blinded with a special weapon precision hit creates a blinding explosion, plus intellect. We're going to run Spark of Shock, your arc grenades jolt targets, minus 10 discipline. Spark of Beacons, while you are amplified, your arc special weapon final blows create blinding explosions and Spark of Volts, plus 10 recovery finishers make you amplified. Every single one of those things is going to effectively and quickly feed into one another, okay? You are going to be able to blind entire rooms of enemies, jolt enemies, blow through groups of adds. I've had moments with this build already in duality where we're doing first boss or second boss and an entire wave of adds spawns and because I'm amplified, I get one kill with my special weapon and the entire wave is blinded and we're able to just walk through everything without anything even shooting at us except the boss. It is utterly ridiculous that this finally works. And these sidearms, these special weapon ammo sidearms, they ship hot. It feels amazing to use Indebted Kindness in any level of content. Master, Legend, Grandmaster, doesn't matter. They feel fantastic. And 
for the rest of the build, what are we doing? What are we doing for mods? What are we doing for weapons? What are we? What are our? What are all our options? Well, I've got a few recommendations for you, Titans, because I'm sure some of us have adept Wendigos sitting around that we haven't been using, and I'm sure a lot of us have Revision Zero, and we really like getting free sniper shots. So let's talk about why these things are baked into the build. They're baked into the arc, if you will. Revision Zero, fourth time Vorpal weapon, hitting precision shots, loads extra sniper shots in that you can then hold reload or switch to alternate fire and dump them allowing you to use these high damage vorpal kinetic sniper shots to do damage and also proc fourth times so you can get extra sniper shots out of them it's incredible and it gives us an anti-barrier option that arc doesn't have baked into the cake so it's a must-have for the build no brainer i'm dealing with all three champions very easily with just a little bit of brain power and a whole lot of titan Heavy weapons, what have we got? Well, I've got two really good options for you here. Cataphrac Adept with bait and switch and whatever, or Wendigo with auto-loading holster in Cascade Point, which synergizes ridiculously well with Revision Zero. And yes, I'm aware that the edge will be transiting and it will be awesome with this build. I'm gonna be grinding it, don't worry. I mainly want Recluse, but transit's definitely on the list. So listen, the build is about dumping damage quickly crushing ads, blinding everything, and then moving on. Whether you're alone, whether you're with a crew, doesn't matter. This build is for you. It's shockingly good. See what I did there? Shockingly good? Yeah. Oh, and if it isn't painfully obvious already, we're running Curious of the Falling Star just so we don't have to swap exotics or anything to do our damage. And because it's beautiful and the drip really matters because you gotta look good to be good. Now, the big downside to this for some people is going to be to make this as effective as I think it needs to be, you need to go farm Warlord's Ruin until you get a God Roll Indebted Kindness with Volt Shot. However, the stats and the upkeep on the build are incredibly easy. You can run high resilience and high recovery for survivability and then fill all your other gaps with armor charge mods. You can run Font of Wisdom for Intellect, Radiant Light to support the team, Time Dilation to extend stack duration, stacks on stacks. All of those things are viable with this build and will absolutely help you out because you don't need banger armor to make a simple build like this work. And if you don't understand the mod system already, you need to go learn it. I'm going to include this clip at the end from a master run of me absolutely scrambling against these two champions and it working out because Titan go burr. Arc Titan is back on the menu, boys. And Bungie, I'm telling you right now, it finally works. I don't need an artifact to make Arc Titan broken. I can do it myself with a build and with good weapons. Keep putting stuff like this out and you'll keep getting people to come back to this game. It's what matters. It's what's important. It's our power fantasy and destiny. God, I just love blowing my load all over an overload. Much love.